Hi, my name's Ruan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sale Girl. <laughs> I'm getting in spirit. <laughs> I've dug these out. I thought you might like these just to cheer you up for the day, you know? Because today is my day on the big vlogging tour for the new sewing challenge, uh, Gift to November. Check me out. It's my turn today. So there will have been a lovely vlogger yesterday. And there is another lovely vlogger tomorrow so make sure that you check them out but there is a big campaign all this month someone is vlogging every single day which is amazing giving you some inspiration for this challenge now i won't go into too many details because you've probably watched a lot of other people's vlogs by now because i'm kind of in the middle of the month but this is a challenge that's been run by the lovely adam from adam sews and alison from sew like dotty i'm sure you already know who they are if not i will put their details downstairs and you go and check them out yeah, baby. So what is this challenge all about? This challenge is about getting your butt in gear. You know, we all talk about making presents for Christmas. Now, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It can be for a birthday. It can be for any celebration that you have. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, so you might have Thanksgiving or anything like that. It's anything where you want to make a gift for somebody else, basically. And it's our job through this vlogging tour to kind of talk to you about what our plans are and to hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration to get making now. And the reason for that is because we all have grand ideas, don't we? All of us. Don't tell me you don't, because I don't believe you. <laughs> We all have grand ideas and then it gets to the 23rd of December and we're like, ah, <laughs> sewing everything like a mad idiot. <laughs> okay, so get your plans in place now and why not join in this challenge and post your makes on Instagram with the hashtag a gift to November. Tag in Adam from Adam Sews or Alison from Sew Like Dotty and post them on Instagram on the 30th of November. Okay. That's the deal. And you could be in for winning one of very many prizes. I think it's about time I won one of these prizes, to be honest, though. I think it is randomly drawn, a bit like when me and uh, Sam and I did So Frugal, but I think it's about time my name came out of the hat, to be honest. <laughs> I think I deserve it. I think I deserve a prize. Don't we all? I haven't even made anything yet. Look at me. So... If you do want to share little snippets of what you're making, though, on the run up to the 30th of November, you can put them on Instagram and use the hashtag a gift to November WIP, which is work in progress. So that's the details out of the way. I think I've covered everything. If not, <laughs> tough. <laughs> so let's get on with what I've, I'm kind of planning on making for not necessarily just for Christmas, but also for some friends of mine as well. So I know it can be quite difficult for us vloggers and potentially for you guys as well, because people might follow your Instagram or your YouTube channel if you're a, if you're a vlogger. So it might be a little bit difficult. So I'm hoping that some of the people that I'm making for aren't going to watch this vlog. But if not, they're going to know what they're getting. But never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Shall we start off with the one that I think pretty much most vloggers have said? Shall we? Shall we? We'll start off with my boys. Now, you know I am dr I'm a dreadful mum and I don't tend to make very often for my boys. Um, I've been watching um, Sam from Frugalissima's um, vlog on this challenge as well. And it really struck a chord with me because it's something that I've been trying to do as well. So when I've been making my plans for what I would like to make, I've really had to think about what people will get use out of rather than just kind of making for the sake of it. Now, we've all done that before, haven't we? But I also want to make things that I think are quite practical and, yeah, people will use anyway, rather than just making something that's really pretty. Because, <laughs> again, I've done that plenty of time. So I think my boys would do well from a pair of Christmas pyjamas. And the reason I'm saying it like this is because they're out. My boys, not the pyjamas. So I'm going to make them a pair of Christmas pyjamas. And I think all us vloggers are doing the same thing. But I'm trying to also use fabric from my stash for pretty much everything by one project. So let's start off with this one. I've chucked it all down here. So I'm going to dive down and spring back up. But you're used to that from me, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. I always forget what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Tsuti, um patterns what is it monroe turtleneck push there we go 
it's dead simple so it's just drops uh, drop shoulder nice long sleeve really big nice roll neck you can also roll that down as well if you don't want it to be quite as high up but I like a snuggly jumper and this is made in this gorgeous pink faux angora knit that i got from a business i shall not name because they were scammers but anyway if you've watched my channel for a while you might know who that is but anyway it is lovely and i do know that andrew from beyond the pink door sells this fabric as well so again if i remember i will try and put a link down below so you can go and have a look because it is gorgeous um okay so pajamas get back to the pajamas now i've made them before for the boys i'm going down again wait a minute and I've made this pattern before. And this is just the made by me patterns. It's just a classic pyjama. So long sleeves. I mean, you could make these short if you wanted. And the pyjama bottoms. Simple as that. So there we go. These go from a size 2 to 3 years all the way up to a 9 to 10. Now, my eldest is turning 10 next month. <laughs> but I still think we can get away with it because they're... Christmas pyjamas from last year still kind of fit him now so I am going to go up one year because I think last year I made him well, I made him seven to eight last year so I might go ahead and do the nine to ten anyway speaking of beyond the pink door I think I got this fabric from beyond the pink door but last year and I stashed it away ready and waiting and it is the most amazing fabric I just love it so it's a cotton jersey and look at this bad boy how amazing is that? Oh, look at that digital. Does that not look real? That looks real to me. Look at like the shine from the baubles and everything. So it's a Christmas tree look with, can you see the lights? I mean, they actually look like they're on, don't they? It's really weird how they've done it. And then all these different coloured baubles. Oh, I love it so much. I'm not quite sure how much I've got. I think it's two metres though. So it should be able to get me a couple of pairs of pyjamas out one for my little one and one for my big one so this was in my stash i've been so tempted there's some um gonk cotton jersey from first and fabrics and it's just adorable and i really really wanted it but because i'm trying to be really good with my fabric purchases in the minute and i'm trying to use up my stash and i had this that i loved last year as well i'm like no no we won't you're not allowed so i'm going with what i've got had in my stash so that i can get some of it used up and then i've dug through my random drawer that's got ribbing and all sorts of off cuts and I've got an off cut of this ribbed jersey that I bought ages ago sorry it's got some hairs on it oops there we go and then the other one is this plain red jersey that I've got some scraps from a t-shirt that I made so I'm hoping I can make one of the boys things from that so the cuff the cuffs and the neckband and everything and the waistband from red in one of them and black in the other so that when i wash them i know whose is whose i oh, know full of genius ideas up here for thinking downstairs for dancing you know right oh my little boy's shouting me two minutes my back i'm back again sorry about that little interlude right and then the other thing that i want to make for them is a tablet stand so my boys both have an ipad which i have to ration their usage of all the time because they're boys and they like to game but they're constantly trying to carry them around with them and put them on stands and things like that so i thought i might make them both one of these um it's a free pattern um online if i can find the details again i'll put the link down below i think i found it on pinterest apologies i can't actually remember who had put it on but i'll if i remember i'll pop it under here and if not it'll be in the description box um but i thought these were genius and i think they would be perfect for both of my boys so i had a delve i'm off again see you in a minute um I had a delve into my fat quarter stash that I used to, you know, have coming in on a regular basis from So Haley Jane. And I picked out these ones for my eldest, you know, because he's 10, coming up to 10, isn't he? He's, he's a bit grown up now. 
And then the other thing was I got quite a few other sets out to show my little one for him to kind of choose his own, wondering what he would kind of say. And he, um, I gave him a few different choices and these are the ones, he doesn't know what it's for, but these are the ones that he came up with. So all space themes. So we've got one with planets on, one with like just stripes going through it, a space one with um, planets and rockets and then this one which is super cute which has got astronauts as well and things on it so I'm hoping to get them both made up for Christmas Eve and I thought that'd be a nice little present for them both a nice pair of pajamas a book some chocolates and a tablet stand for them as well so I think they'll get loads of use out of that as well so all I need to do is buy some wadding to to stuff them with um, and I can get cracking on that so that's a good one. So both of them I can pretty much get on to straight away. Then for my brother and sister-in-law, they've got a dog. They've got a little cockapoo. And um, so they go walking all the time. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't really like having a big, thick scarf on. So I know that Tamlin from Sewing on the Tine last year made quite a few of these. And she's actually mentioned it on her A Gift to November vlog. Um, but I wanted to make some like neck warmers, some like suits. So again, I'll put some pictures up here, but this is a free um, tutorial with a template and everything um, from Apple Green Cottage. And again, everything I talk about, I'll put um, links for down below. But I want to make one for my brother and one for my sister-in-law. So again, I had to delve through my scrap basket. I'm off again. <laughs> here we go. So I picked out quite a few fabrics and I've got an off cut of the same fabric but in different colours. So I made my mum, no I made myself sorry, a South Bank sweater in this and I've got quite a bit left of this gorgeous knit fabric. Again I think you can get this from Beyond the Pink Door and get it from quite a few places and also the navy version as well. So I've got quite a lot left of both of those more of the navy but I thought I might do this one for my sister-in-law and this one for my brother so that they kind of match and then on the inside I mean they talk about putting fleece on the inside but I've been having a look at what I've got so that I can just use up stuff now for my sister-in-law I'm thinking I might use this scrap fabric that I've got left over from a billy jumper that I made which is absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is from Beyond the Pink Door. And this is a French terry, but it's lovely and smooth on this side. And I think those colours go beautifully together. Look, how nice is that? So I was thinking I could make my sister-in-law one in that combination. And then I've got some of this French terry left over from, this was from a Guthrie and Garni, excuse me, um, society box. And I've got about half a metre of this left, maybe not even that. But again, I thought that and that for my brother would look really nice. What do we think? So that's a plan for them. And again, I'll be using up my scraps, so even better. And the other thing I would like to make is for my uh, best friend's daughter, Rose. So they live in Ireland, so I don't get to see her very often. And I do like to make her something every now and again. The last thing I made her was a hoodie, um, which kind of matched in with my, my kids' hoodies that I've made them. But we have bought recently, um, before I saw this idea, um, we play cards a lot, particularly when we're on holiday. So around the table, we try not to have any screens or anything like that and we will play uno and double and all sorts of stuff but when my littlest is trying to hold lots and lots of cards he really struggles so we bought like something that's got like a handle and you can pop all your cards in it so you can just hold it with one hand and it's really easy for him to see but when I was looking for ideas I saw that you can actually make one and I'll put a picture again of it in here for you to have a look at but I loved this idea. So what I was thinking about doing for my best friend's daughter is um, making her one um, and buying her a little pack of maybe Uno cards or something like that as just a little tiny treat for Christmas. What do we think? So it was quite nice because I delved again through my fat quarter stash. And there were some really lovely girly ones because obviously I've got boys, so, you know, although my youngest favourite colour is pink, which I love. Um, and I dug these ones out. So there's 
gorgeous fishies in these turquoise pinks, blues and purples. There's like the fish scales, some beautiful mermaids and then this gorgeous like coral colour as well with leaves. So those four go really well together. So all I've got to do to get to finish to do this one, I think it's some really strong um it's like interfacing but even stronger it's like a fusible one so i'm gonna have a look at that i'm gonna I have actually got some really strong like for the bottom of bags like um i don't know what you actually call it but um i might have a look and see if that would work as well because if so then i don't need to buy anything because that is what i'm trying to get around doing so i think that would be a really lovely idea and again i found that on pinterest um, and that's um, from five out of four patterns. That's a tutorial on their website. Again, I'll pop details below. So I thought that'd be a lovely idea. Now, <clears throat> are we allowed to make presents for ourselves? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be allowed this one, but I'll show you it anyway, because I thought it would be really good as a gift for somebody else who sews if you are interested in making one. Don't think I'll be allowed to submit this one, but you know, it's worth a try. It's worth a try, Adam. Alison, you know. Right, so I, my new Juki machine, I call it new, but I've had it for nearly a year now, has got a really big foot pedal. And because I have carpet in my um, sewing room, it slides around all the time. So I saw this ingenious thing on Pinterest and it's basically a foot pedal holder thing let me write down what what let me what did i actually put it on here what non-slip sewing machine foot pedal pad oh god that was hard to say wasn't it try to say that really fast and it's a tutorial by so so easy um and i thought this is going to be perfect for me <laughs> but again like i said if you wanted to make this this is just kind of for inspiration really if you wanted to make this as a lovely gift for somebody i think anybody would really like this so how good is this though oh. And you know what caught my eye about this is you need some of this non-slip, um, it's not really fabric, it's like plastic almost. And you can use it sometimes, you know, to put underneath rugs and stuff so that it doesn't move. And I actually had some of that in my stash. What? So I thought, I've actually got everything I need for this. So I've been through again my stash and I need a fat quarter. <laughs> animal print obviously so i dug that one out for me you need some like wadding batting or whatever it is you call it i've got some of that should be enough in my little scrap basket and i've got some of the non-slip stuff i think i got this to make a rug for my kids though i never did <laughs> so there's a theme going here isn't there and i think you could like weave things in and out of it but anyway i bought this i don't even know a long long time ago and it's just been sat in my stash and i was like i'm never gonna use that but i can't chuck it because it's plastic and i don't know what you know it will ever degrade so i based my colors on this because obviously i had this already in my stash so i've got that already so like i say yeah i've got this wadding and then I've got loads of different fat quarters that I could choose, but I liked this because of the yellow. I thought it would go quite nicely. And then you bias bind around the edges. Now this is black on here, but I didn't really have black bias binding. So I'm just using what I've got because it's only for a foot pedal, isn't it? But I've got some really nice, really dark midnight navy type of colour. I mean, it doesn't look that far off, does it? To go around the edges. So I've got a couple of pieces of that. I think I've got maybe just enough to use. But again, that is something where I'm using everything from my stash and it's something that's really usable rather than something for the sake of it. And then last but not least, I really hope my friends aren't watching. I am going on a hot tub weekend with my, some of my girly friends. Oh yeah, oh yeah, in January. So I'm very excited. And um, they're all lovely and they always go on about all the stuff that I make and everything. They're always really complimentary. So I thought it would be really nice this time to make them all something for when we go. But again, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but I wanted it to kind of have a theme. So I had to think about pyjamas and all this stuff. And then I thought from a size point of view, it's going to be quite hard to work it out for everybody. Um, so I've decided I'm going to make them a page hoodie each. Now that's a chalk and notch pattern of which I've made a couple. Again, if I can find the pictures, I'll, I'll pop them in here. 
and I love this pattern. It's a really quick and simple pattern and it's just gorgeous. So I used the inspiration of some fabric again. Beyond the Pink Doors featured a lot in this, aren't they? But I had this fabric, I'll show you. And I put it away because it started getting warmer and it's just been sat in my stash. And it's this gorgeous, how many times I say gorgeous, fleeced back sweatshirting. So it's not super, super thick, but it's just, oh, and I love this colour as well, obviously. Um, but I bought that quite some time ago. So for anybody who doesn't know what the page hoodie looks like, this is it here. It's lush, isn't it? And um, yeah, it's quite a simple and easy make, this one. And it's quite oversized. So I think from a fitting point of view for my friends, it'll be perfect. Somebody's at the door. I'll be back in a moment, one moment. I'm back again. How very dare all these people be interrupting me. It's outrageous. <laughs> So anyway, where was I? Yes, so I'm going to make that page hoodie and I used this as the basis of my idea. And the reason for that is because I saw a while ago now a sale from a fabric shop called Koala Creations, I think it is. Again, I'll put the details down below. And they had a sale and they were selling off this fabric, but in different colours. So that's what sparked my idea. So let me grab these again. Goodbye. <laughs> and... Hello, but look at these. <sighs> so they had these three colours in stock in the sale. So this is my colour here. Well, it might not be my colour. So there's me and three of my friends and I'm going to make us all page hoodies, all in different fabrics. I really hope none of them have actually seen this. <laughs> Well, if you have, then you need to get in contact with me straight away because I might you might be able to choose your colour because, you know, I've got to decide who's having what colour here. The other thing that I've got is I've actually got some, again, I'm trying to go through my stash. I've got some really, I mean, I've had this ribbing for ages, but I thought that would look really nice with the black and white one. Gorgeous. Um, and then I've only got a metre and a half of each of these because I didn't want to get any more than that because the pattern says 1.6 metres. So I'm hoping I can squeeze it out. Um, but I am going to probably pop to Fabworks and get some plain white jersey just to line the hood and also get some white ribbing just to do um, any of the hoodies because I've only got the two small ones of the black and white so I think what I'll do is I'll just get some white ribbing to finish off the other ones um I've already got some white cord I've ordered some drawstring stoppers that's the only thing I've ordered so far because obviously I've had this fabric for about three months now I think and then the, the one last thing that I did actually order to go with this is these and I'm going to put these onto each of our hoodies <laughs> and it says girl gang how cool is that? So I was thinking, particularly on the black and white, it's going to look amazing. Oops, a bit of thread there. Look. So it'll say girl gang and then it'll have the white cord drawstring around the top and then the... So most of these bits, this is from my stash, the cuffing's from my stash. One of the fabrics is from my stash, obviously the ones I got, but they were in the sale. And then I just cheekily bought these off eBay. If anybody wants to know where I got these from on, on eBay, again, I'll pop the, the link down below. So what do we think? Now, that isn't until January. So although it's not Christmas, um, obviously it would still be valid because it is in it's a gift. But this is where it differs. So I will be making four of these. So I can't submit all four as separate ent uh, entries. If you're mass making something, you can only submit it once, which is fair enough. Otherwise, you could make, you know, 100 scrunchies and try and get 100 entries, couldn't you? <laughs> so you can't do that. Um, and the other thing is you can pretty much make whatever you want as long as it's got some element of stitching in it. So as long as you've sewn something on it, <laughs> you're all good, you know? So that is my plan for my friends. Oh, how nice are those colours? To be honest, I think I'll be happy with any one of those colours. So I hope the girls will be as well. So that's it. I could have put a lot more in this video, uh, but I decided not to because obviously 
you can just get a little bit overwhelmed can't you and there's lots of other people making vlogs and i think probably the last thing of my priority list will be my own foot pedal <laughs> um because i won't be able to submit that anyway for this challenge and also the girls hoodies because i'll have a little bit extra time because that's not until january so we'll see how much we get done i have got a lot of stuff going on in november um yeah there's there's quite a bit of stuff going on in the background so i might not have that much time have to be realistic with what I'm doing with my time so I'll do as much as I can and I'm really glad that Adam and Alison have arranged this because it has really made me think a lot sooner than I probably would have done um of what I would like to make and also about trying to make sure that everybody is something that everybody would actually want and use as well so yeah I hope that's all right with everybody I hope you've had a little bit of inspiration from what I've said anyway if you have liked this video please do like it give me the thumbs up please and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe it is free and apparently if you like my video or you put a comment on it helps spread the world spread the world spread the word around the world that I'm here <laughs> poor people <laughs> honestly Anyway, hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's had loads of time for sewing, more importantly. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you again in my next vlog. Bye.